Hello, my name is Patricia Carvajal and I am the owner of Mi Tomatina Paella and Tapas Restaurant in beautiful Winter Park, Florida. I am thrilled to welcome signature chefs of Orlando. Come on in, I promise you, you will love the experience. Welcome to Signature Chefs of Orlando. My name is JC Basanta Juan Carlos, and we're here in Winter Park at Mi Tomatina. And today we're going to be cooking a very traditional Spanish dish, the paella. Paellas are found throughout the regions of Spain. They're mostly done with whatever ingredients are local to that area. A little background about myself. I've been in this industry about 10 years, roughly, and my education was at Le Cordon Bleu, and I've been here at Mi Tomatina for about six months. So, we have our little traditional paella stand, and I'll explain some of the ingredients that we're going to be using today. Being that it is a seafood paella, we have some fresh clams, some calamari, shrimp, mussels, and baby octopus. Traditionally, when you're beginning, at least the way I like to do it, we heat up the pan a little bit, then just a little bit of fresh virgin olive oil on the base. As we heat up the olive oil, we're going to put a pinch of salt. And at, at this point in time, we're going to introduce the seafood. We have some calamari, both tentacles, and the baby portion, some clams as well, the baby octopus, some shrimp, and these are large pond shrimp. Now we like to do it with the head on for the reason that it actually has a lot more flavor located in the head portion of the shrimp and some fresh mussels. So let's get warmed up a little bit. Okay. Now we'll go to some of the other ingredients that we have here. The main thing for our sauce, as you can see here, uh, place it in the front, and that is a combination of Spanish paprika, saffron, and turmeric. And that's what's gonna give it flavor. We're continue to saute. Now we create a small little sample size in the center. What we like to do is we take our spices and we have some fresh tomato puree. Combine the spices with the tomato puree. And what we're gonna do here is just create a small little slur, or a slurry if you will. Try to get a nice little combination of everything so the ingredients work well with each other, kind of marinate into one. Get a nice little rich orange color there. And we just place it right in the center of the paella. Let's place that over here. All right. We have some seafood stock. You can use some clam stock. You can use lobster stock. Whatever you consider to be the best for the flavors. To about three quarters of the low. And there we go. Now, we try to create a small little area. And this is where we're going to place our rice. For a paella this big, you want to get it so the best measurement is just cover the rice to a line that's just slightly above your stock line. So this being a paella for two people, you're approximately going to use about 12 ounces of rice. We wait for approximately, it's going to take about 18 to 20 minutes as it all boils over. At that point in time, keep it at a high heat. Once the rice starts popping, just bring it down to temperature, to a lower temperature. And at that point in time, we're gonna be uncovering it and introducing some peas to it, capers, and roasted pe red peppers. Now, after our paella has cooked off for about approximately 20 minutes, going back to that period of time, where we stand is, we have just introduced the fresh roasted red peppers, the peas, and the capers. Now, depending on what region you're from, some people, you have the socorrat. Socorrat is the bottom portion, which is the more burnt portion. Now, that's where the flavor is kept. We like to cook it off at the end, a little bit of higher heat, and as you can hear it sizzle, that'll be that you're gonna be sealing and getting a nice little color on the back edges, as well as getting a little stickiness to the bottom. And that'll have a lot of the seafood flavor. To finish it off, after we get the socorrat, you just want to give it a little bit of olive oil right through the top, and that'll just give it a nice color and seal in the flavors. And the last step, of course, to any good paella is to put some fresh lemon wedges on the side. That's the lemon wedges will bring out the flavor of all the seafood. And there we have our traditional Spanish Thai paella, one of our signature dishes. And thank you again for being with us here at Signature Chefs of Orlando. We hope to see you again sometime soon whenever you're in Winter Park at our restaurant here. Thank you.